all right what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel how are y'all doing today if this is your first time to the bahama saltwater fishing channel i welcome you and we're gonna have a great time it is a beautiful fall late october day and we're gonna go out and do some surf fishing i already have some pompano rigs tied up here these are my local hand tied bama saltwater pompano rigs and then fish bites was awesome enough to send me some baits i use their baits all the time but i really appreciate them sending me some so i have some chartreuse shrimp here in the fishing strips the fishing strips orange and the fishing strips pink all in the shrimp that's probably my three favorite colors i requested to them and these are it right there you can go in more depth with all their other colors but these three right here you can't go wrong with but all it is is a synthetic cut bait kind of looks like bubble gum but you do not want to eat it it doesn't stink and it stays on your hook for a while and it'll slowly dissolve and put out that scent attracting fish along with that color so pretty innovative bait i should say but we're gonna take these out to the beach take some surf rods gotta go get some ice and i got some shrimp as well because we can't go to the beach without some shrimp and we're gonna try our luck so y'all stay tuned let's get in on the fishing and i'll see you on the beach y'all check out how pretty of a view and day it is today wow look at the sand dunes the bright blue skies got yellow flags flying ow that kind of hurts to walk on all right <laughs> but we have beautiful water today Y'all just listen to that. Beautiful sound of the water. I always like to share the experience of just feeling just the awesomeness of nature out here. Cause not everybody can. And we're super blessed to be able to hang out here on the beautiful beach of Gulf of Mexico. But I'm gonna get a couple rod holders set in, get baited up here and we'll get to some fishing. It is a beautiful day outside. I welcome you to join me. Let's get some baits out and catch some fish. Okay, set up today. As always, I have a Bama Saltwater pump and a rig tied on. It's just a swivel coming down to two dropper loops. And in each loop is a float, a bead, and a circle hook. And it's just two of those. Really simple setup. And then your weight, it's all the way at the bottom. On these rigs, I always tie a clip on there and then you can just clip on whatever size weight. Today I'm using two ounce. It's pretty flat, we got a north wind, so we don't need nothing crazy. I like to get away with as little amount of weight as possible. Two ounce is generally pretty good and you don't need a giant rod to throw it on. Bait of choice is some dead frozen shrimp, but it's freshly frozen. And then some fish bites, fish and strips, chartreuse color. We'll do a piece of that and a piece of shrimp on each hook. I took that whole piece of shrimp, I peeled it, I cut it in half, and I'm gonna take my circle hook and that small piece of peeled shrimp and thread it on here. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one on the bottom. And what I wanna do is take a piece of the fish bites, and these are already cut up in pieces, but I'm gonna cut this in even smaller pieces here. So I'm gonna take this fishing strips and just cut it directly in half. A bag of this will last you a while. I'll include a link for it down in the description below if you wanna pick you up some. And mom is using the same setup with the nine foot rod, about a 5,000 size spinning reel, except she's using the pink and white. Imagine, like she likes to even use. Even if I don't catch any pink, it's pretty. Do you wanna use some pink fish bites with that Please, or do you want the green? Me some? Yeah, I'll get you some pink ones. Thank you. We're gonna get mom some of the pink fishing strip shrimp since she's using all pink. So we'll hook mom up with some pink. I just take some braid scissors, which I'll link down in the description below as well if I can find them, and cut them in half. Works really well for this stuff. I just like to put one hook through this fish bite and you're good to go. It ain't gonna come off. All right, I don't know mine. I'm gonna take this green shrimp fishing strips. And it's pretty much gonna be the setup and bait that I'm using the whole time. There we go. Now my setup I'm using is a Shimano Stratic 5000, spooled up with 20 pound Yazuri Super Braid on a nine foot medium power moderate fast action shimano speedmaster surf rod i absolutely love this combo but we're going to cast out here and try not to get bit up by these sand flies all right that rod is set and out i'm just going to run one rod today since mom's fishing with me i did a medium cast out there there's a sandbar pretty far out so i want to cast in that trough in between me and that sandbar 
you don't want to overcomplicate it. The key is, is sometimes if you're standing in waist deep water, you're really standing where you need to be fishing. So I didn't really step that far into the water and we're going to see what we get. <laughs> Mom has something. What you got over there? All right, what you got? Hey, you got a little bitty pompano. Check that out. So mom just got this little pompano here on the pink and white flute, pink bead, and some of the pink fish bites. I guess it like pink a lot. Check that out. Definitely not legal, but it's a good sign to see nevertheless. What a beautiful fish. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna toss it back. So Check it out. Sweet. Alright, circle hooks. Got that hook right in the corner of its mouth. And we're gonna let this sucker go. No, you can't have it. Sorry, Fred. Sorry. Great blue heron off the pompano. <laughs> there you go, buddy. And he's gone. <laughs> I think mom has another one here. I'm a little farther away from where she is. What you got? Something big? No. no. <laughs> Let's see what you have here. It looks like a little bitty flounder. What a beautiful, beautiful little flounder. Check that out. <laughs> what beautiful colors on this fish. Wow. On the pink saltwater rig and pink fish bites. Check out the pattern on that fish. We're going to get it back in the water. That's Good job. Beautiful. Thank you. This is why I like using circle hooks because the likelihood of them gut hooking is pretty slim. All right, and that circle hook came right out. What a beautiful little flounder there. We're going to get this back in the water. You want to go release it? Make sure you the heron's so not cute. around. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh. Graceful release, but it did a belly flop and slam off. <laughs> Graceful, I say. <laughs> no, hey, it went back and it's fine. It's good to go. The pink and white prevails along with the pink shrimp fish bite. So I'm still gonna stick with mine, but color's doing pretty good for. And that's my hand tied custom rig there that I put together. So heck yeah, good job. Let me catch a fish now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mom's doing pretty good, so that's awesome. But it did jump a little bit. Come on. Ah. I think, oh no, that's a good pompano. That's a good pompano. Come on, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I put in some time. Mom caught all those little baby fish. I'm over here catching the dinner. That is a good pompano, buddy. Woo! Check that out. One of my hand tied rigs. That's awesome when you catch fish on something that you tied yourself. On the green fish bites, fishing strips and that circle hook right in the corner of his mouth. He is going on ice in the cooler. What a beautiful fish. Heck yeah. We caught them like crazy in the spring when they're best to bite. We caught a little bit in the summer, but we are back to fall fishing. Had this little cold snap. Let's see if we can get another one. Heck yeah. Let's see what he measures. 16 inch total link pompano. You just want to make sure before you go fishing, you're aware of the regulations in the state and waters that you're fishing. So this is a legal fish. All right, before it flies off, this is combo I use to catch this fish before we get out and get another one. Fish bites, fishing strip in the chartreuse. And then I'm using the yellow and white Bama saltwater pompano slash surf rig. So let's get back out there, bait up again and get another one. That was awesome. So I still got a little bitty piece of fish bites on here still. It's being held on by that little mesh. So. I'm gonna keep on going with it. That's the cool thing is you can catch multiple fish on this stuff and it'll just slowly dissolve out on the water. Tip the rig back up with a little bit of shrimp again. All right, I just call that stud pompano. Pass out another bait. Boom, there we 
there you go. For any time you're using rod holders like this, when you set it in there, you want to loosen your drag where if something takes it like a big ray or shark or pompano or redfish or anything, it doesn't pull your whole rod with it. Or you can hold it like mom does. She likes holding the rod. You see, she's pretty successful that way too. All right, mom's got something. What you got? Is it big? Or is it another little baby? Is it another little baby fish? <laughs> coming in pretty easy what the heck is that <laughs> all right lift it up you actually have a legitimate sea robin this time this is cool these are really neat fish what a variety that you're catching everything but a big pompano but these are really neat fish these are actually sea robins so pretty cool you see why they call them that because they have wings and they have weird looking legs it looks like but it's just fins and a pretty cool looking fish see if I can hold them a little better they do have spikes on their back of the head but they like the fish bites in the pompano rig so but check that out little sea robin <laughs> those are so cool they're just neat looking fish you're catching a variety aren't you all right we're gonna get this unhooked and get it back in the water it's cool how they can fold up their wings so called which is their fins and we're gonna let this sucker go there you go buddy go back to the bottom and he opens his wings up and just sits right back on the bottom waiting for something else to come by. And there's a little ray. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, there it goes. Those are so cool. A lot of wildlife out today. I love it. I love fall time. Fall and spring, the time where all the wildlife, including us <laughs> humans, like to come out and enjoy it because the temperature is not insanely hot to where it's not comfortable. It's actually nice to be out here. I'm wearing long sleeves and half coat shorts and I'm just fine and comfortable and not sweating at all. So that's cool. I'm gonna check my bait here. I think a whole bunch of seaweed just moved in. All right, it just popped off. So mom reeled in a little bit of seaweed and I just had a whole bunch that felt like on the end of my line. She's pretty far down, but she's got something. I'm coming. <laughs> what is it? Oh, <laughs> it's not even worth running for. <laughs> It's a remora. Mom caught a remora. It's a shark sucker. They stick to the bottom of sharks. Big rays. I've seen them on black drum. I've seen them on whales. Not personally on whales, because I haven't really seen too many whales. But they do stick to whales. With this little sucker thing on them. Watch this. See if it sticks to your arm. Ow! It's not gonna hurt. Ow, it did. <laughs> Is that me bleeding or him? <laughs> there we go. It's stuck to oh. her arm. It doesn't hurt. I've got it multiple times. <laughs> but it is stuck to her arm. So that's what they do to sharks and stuff. Then they'll let go. <laughs> and let me see your arm. Did you enjoy it? Look, look, it left a little suction marks, but nothing crazy. And, <laughs> the things we do and then they'll let go and go eat the scraps and go and take another free ride. So there you go, buddy. Go back out. Don't hit mine though. Just fish bites for a while, huh? Yep. This is what happens when they this. fully dissolve is they'll leave uh, that mesh and you can just slide it up your hook like it says. I just cut it off, throw it in my tackle box and then put another piece on there. So <laughs> <laughs> funny variety. <laughs> so mom just caught that remora. That was pretty cool. You know, they're kind of a junk fish, but they're still pretty neat to catch, especially if you have some kids or even it's fun for me just to stick them to like something soft. You know, if you don't want to stick them to your arm or something, you can try to stick them to a cooler. I used to stick them to the sign on the pier and then obviously toss them back, you know. So that we need this water temp to drop just a couple more degrees. Then Pompano really like 65 degrees to 79-ish degrees. They'll still hit above that. They'll still hit below that. But the ideal temperature is 65 to 79. So a nice 72 degree fall day. It's usually really good for Pompano, especially in the spring too. But I know y'all tired of hearing me talking. We're gonna keep on fishing. If we don't catch anything, I'll probably end up closing out this video. So stay tuned, see what happens. Well, you caught, I'm gonna say quantity, maybe a little bit of quality, but nothing we can take home and eat. Except that remora, but you can eat all that. I'm gonna pass on that one. But what a great evening. So we're gonna go ahead and close out this video because it kind of died off pretty quick and it's time to go home, eat that fish and enjoy our dinner. Okay, well, we did pretty good today and just on the hand tied a Bama saltwater pompano rigs. And then we were using two different kinds of fish bites. The chartreuse fishing strips, shrimp, 
and then a pink fishing strip shrimp. But I really appreciate y'all for watching as always and tagging along. These videos are definitely fun but challenging to make and I'm glad that y'all can enjoy them and take time to sit down and watch them. So it's awesome, appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below. The analytics show like 60% of y'all are not subscribed that are watching. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It's free to do. It allows you to keep up with some cool content like this. Like this video if you enjoyed seeing us catch some fish, especially that nice pompano. Get out there and go fish. Enjoy the great outdoors. Don't overcomplicate it. Just get out there and fish. We will see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.